Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to this video. Today I'm going to talk about some great spring fragrances that you actually will enjoy wearing. We hear a lot of talk about spring fragrances here and there, but which ones do you actually enjoy wearing and you can wear consistently through spring and summertime. I have both some niche fragrances, a little bit more high-end, but also included some designers. So I hope that uh, here can be a fragrance for everyone. So if we start with a little bit uh, higher price tag, some fragrances that I really enjoy in this spring summertime. And as you see around me now, it becomes a little bit better weather here. Uh, in Sweden, which uh, is very, very um, uh, good. It's been very good, I'm very happy. The first one is from uh, Mikalev Usaito. I've uh, mentioned it in some other videos last year, I think, but this is still a great fragrance. A little bit higher end, of course, but this is super long lasting for being a freshie, actually. So if you are a person who really enjoy freshies, but uh, you think, ah, they don't perform, I, I don't really like it because they never perform, then buy this one, it's worth the money, I think. Another one, that is also a little bit uh, more expensive that I uh, actually recently rediscovered because I only have these fragrances in two samples. And the first one is from Atelier Colon and the second one as well. And the first one is uh, called Clementine California. Um, and this one, when I first sprayed it, when I got the sample, I didn't really enjoy it because I thought, thought it smelled too much uh, candy-like. It was uh, very much unisex. But when this one dries down, it becomes a little bit different, it becomes a little bit more deep than just this candy-like, very clementine, fruity type of smell that you get from this fragrance, which I really enjoy in the dry down, but not so much in the opening. So that's why it's very important that you, of course, um, experiment with a lot of fragrances before you decide. But uh, in general, Atelier Cologne is a very good brand, uh, I think at least, and they uh, have a great quality in their fragrances. So if you want a high quality brand, uh, try these. Next one, perfect for the spring if you love lavender. Barbershop fragrance from Tom Ford Beau de Jour. Of course, Beau de Jour is fantastic for days like this. When it um, is very nice weather, you are out a lot and stuff like that, but it's not so warm that you can just run around in t-shirt and shorts at the beach. You still need a uh, knitted sweater like I have and a jacket because it's uh, very windy, especially here at the beach. But this one is a very mature uh, spring fragrance that is for the little bit older crowd, I would suggest. But this one is a beast mode in performance. So if you have the money and you like the little bit more oak mossy type of fragrances with a heavy lavender notes, try Tom Ford's Beau de Jour. Okay, so if we uh, talk a little bit about some less, ex less expensive fragrances, that I really enjoy wearing, especially when the days get long, longer and the days get brighter as well. And this one is Lom from YSL. Nothing that you haven't seen before, but I think it's very overlooked, this fragrance. Okay, it doesn't perform so beastly, but I don't really care. Just spray more and buy more fragrance basically, because this is, this is a fantastic smelling fragrance. It's very round, it's very easy to love. It's not in your face, like a lot of citrus fragrances or a little bit lighter fragrances can be sometimes, but this is very refined. So if you are someone who don't really like the stinginess and citrus notes of fresh spring fragrances, maybe this is something for you. Fantastic uh, ginger notes in this one and also the cardamom that makes it a beautiful composition in my opinion. So Lom is still a very great fragrance, a gem. We go to an even cheaper fragrance and this is from the Swedish house of uh, fragrance. It's called Essence and this is uh, spicy pepper and this fragrance is a um, it's not a replica, but it's very similar to uh, Dior Sauvage uh, uh, Eau de Toilette. The difference is that this one is a little bit less peppery and a little bit more on the citrus side, which I like because this is not so in your face. It's not so vulgar as I think the original Sauvage can be sometimes. If you don't really like this in your face punch, then go for this one. 300 crowns or uh, approximately 35 bucks for a um, 50 mil. So it's very worth the price, super long lasting as well. I wear this uh, a lot in this time of year. 
we go into uh, a niche now. Um, if you have followed me and my channel, you know I like Percival from Perfumes de Marley, so of course I have to, coming a plane here, <laughs> uh, of course I have to include this one in my um, list of uh, great spring fragrances because this is a great combination. I don't have a lot in my bottle left, I feel. A great combination between the sweetness, the seductiveness and also the freshness. That's why I really love this fragrance. It has a good balance. It's not too sweet and too stingy and too citrus-like toilet freshener. And it's not too cloey, too sweet. That could be annoying and very feminine. So this one is great. Sits on your long, sits on your skin for a long time. And uh, women really love this, if you care about that. And okay, okay, we take the last one of today. And this one is, is a no-brainer, basically. Uh, Aqua de Joe. Profondo, great uh, for all type of occasions. If I just could, can buy one fresh fragrance for both spring and summertime, maybe I would go for this one because it's not so pricey, but it's still, still pretty long lasting for what it brings to the table. Thanks for watching and I'll see you the next time.